Hello everyone, welcome to AG Mathematics. This is Rekha here. Today we are going to do exercise 6.1 of class 8, question number 1. The question is, which of the following are not perfect cubes? Here, they have given us 5 sums and they are asking us if these given numbers are perfect cubes or not. Okay, how do we find them? What we do is, we factorize them by using the prime factorization method and we make a group of 3 numbers. Like if um, 216 is factorized, we get the multiples of 216. That is factors of 216. Sorry, not multiples. Factors of 216. So the factors of 216, the numbers, we make them into a group of three numbers. Okay. A pack of three numbers. If we do not find a group of three numbers, if a number is left alone or only two numbers are left, without being a group of three numbers then it is not a perfect cube if yes all the numbers come into the group of three numbers then it is a perfect cube okay now let us see the first one that is 216 we will start factorizing the number 216 now the we will factorize with the smallest prime number the smallest prime number is two two ones are two 1 is not divisible by 2, so it is 0, 2 is a 16. Now again, 2, 5 is a 10, 2, 4 is a 8. Again, 2, 2 is a 4, 1 is the remainder, 2, 7 is a 14, so it is 27. Now 27 is not divisible by 2, it is divisible by 3. 3, 9 is a 27, 3, 3 is a 9 and 3, 1 is a 3. Now with what we will do, we will write all the factors of 216. The factors of 216 are 2 into 2 into 2, 2 into 2 into 2, 3 into 3 into 3. Okay. Now we will make them, we will group them into 3 numbers. Okay. Now 2 into 2 into 2 is one group, 3 into 3 into 3 is another group. So 2 into 2 into 2. What we will do? 2 into 2 into 2 is 2 cube. Yes. Now, 3 into 3 into 3 is 3 cube. Now, cube root of 2 cube will be 2. Right? Cube root of 2 cube will be 2. And cube root of 3 cube will be 3. So, 2 into 3. That is 6. 6 is the cube root of 216. We don't need to do this step. I am just showing you. If they are a group of, if they are a bunch of 3 numbers, of three same numbers like 2, 2, 2 and there are three 2's which are multiplied by themselves yes and three 3's which are multiplied by themselves so we form a group and if this is a perfect group then yes it is a perfect cube now we will write down yes 216 is a perfect cube This is the answer for the first one. Now, let us do the second sum. That is 128. Now, we will go on factorizing the number 128. We will divide it by 2 first. 2 6 are 12. 2 4 is 8. 2 3 is 6. 2 2 is 4. 2 16 is 32. 2 8 is 16. 2 4 is 8. 2 2s are 4 and 2 1s are 2. Now let us see how many 2s we have got here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, now we will write down the factors of 128. The factors of 128 are 2 into 2 into 2, 7 times. 4, 5, 6, 7. So they are 7 times. Now we will group them into a pair of 3 numbers. See here? We will group them in three numbers. So, three twos and one more three twos. So, this two is left alone with no two multiples. Okay. See, now we are grouping them into three numbers group. So, there is one three, num three twos and another three twos. There is one single two left and without the group. So, it is not a perfect cube. So, we will write down the answer. 128 is not a perfect 
cube. Sorry, this is not N O T not. So 128 is not a perfect cube. This is the answer for the second one. Now let us see the third sum. The third one is 1000. Now we will start factorizing 1000. Okay. 2 5s are 10. 0 0. 2 2s are 4. 2 5s are 10. 0. So again this is divisible by 2. 2 1s are 2. 2 2s are 4. 2 5s are 10. Now 125. Let us see if it is divisible by 3, 5, 6, 7, 8. If we add 5 and 2 and 1, it will be 8. 8 is not divisible. We have to add these numbers, okay, 1, 2 and 5. When we add 1 plus 2 plus 5, it is 8 and 8 is not divisible by 3. So, 125 is not divisible by 3. Now, let us see the next prime number that is 5. It is divisible by 5. 5 twos are 10, 5 fives are 25. 5 ones are, sorry, 5 fives are 25 again, 5 ones are 5. So, it is, a, now how many factors we have got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, we will write down the factors of 1000. Factors of 1000 are 2 into 2 into 2 into 5 into 5 into 5. Now, we will make again a group of 3 numbers. So, this is group of three twos and this is group of three fives yes so we have got the perfect group that is there are three twos and there are three fives so it is a perfect cube so 1000 is a perfect cube this is the answer for the third one if you want to find the cube root of 1000 cube root of 1000 will be we will take one out of this perfect cube that is 2 into 2 into 2 we will take one 5 into 5 into 5 we will take one so there will be 1 2 and 1 5 2 5s are 10 10 is the cube root of 1000 we can in such a way we can find the cube root but here they have not asked us to find the cube root they are asking us if it is a perfect cube so, we will just write down the answer. 1000 is a perfect cube. Now, let us do the fourth one. Fourth one is 100. We will start factorizing the number 100. 250 is 100. 225 is 50. Now, we have 25. It is divisible by 5. 5 5 is 25. 5 1 is 5. So, the factors of 100 are 2 into 2. 5 into 5. So, there are 4 factors. Now, if we try and group 3 numbers, it is not possible because there are only 2 twos. So, there is no group of 3 twos and there is only 2 fives. There are only 2 fives. There is, it is not a group of again 3 fives. So, since they are not in a perfect group of 3 numbers, 3 same numbers, it is not a cube number so 100 is no 100 is not a perfect cube this is the answer for the fourth one now let us do the fifth one the number here is 46656 now let us factorize the number 46656 we will divide it by 2 2 twos are 4 2 3s are 6, 2 3s are 6, 2 2s are 4, 2 8s are 16. Again, this number is divisible by 2. 2 1s are 2, 2 1s are 2, 1 is the remainder, 2 6s are 12. Again, 1 is the remainder, 2 6s are 12, 2 4s are 8. This is again divisible by 2. 2 5s are 10, 2 8s are 16, 2 3s are 6, 2 2s are 4. Again, let's divide it by 2. 2 2s are 4, 2 9s are 18. 2 1s are 2 and 1 is the remainder 2 6 are 12. Again this is divisible by 2. 2 1s are 2, 2 4s are 8, 1 is the remainder 2 5s are 10, 1 is the remainder 8. This is again divisible by 2, 2 7s are 14, 2 2s are 4, 1 is the remainder 2 9s are 18. 729 if we will check if it is divisible by 3 9 plus 2 plus 7 
7 plus 2 is 9, 9 plus 9 is 18, 18 is divisible by 3, we have to add the given numbers, if that number, after adding the number, whatever we, number we get, like after adding 7 plus 2 plus 9, we get 18, if 18 is divisible by 3, so 729 will also be divisible by 3, that is the trick, so this is divisible by 3, 3 2s are 6, 1 is the remainder, 3 4s are 12, 3 3s three are 9. Now again 4 plus 2 is 6 plus 3 is 9. 9 is divisible by 3. So 243 is also divisible by 3. 3 8s are 24. 3 1s are 3. 81 is divisible by 3. 3 2s are 6. 2 is the remainder. 3 7s are 21. 3 9s are 27. 3 3s are 9. 3 1s are 3. Okay, so it's a bit lengthy. I'm going to show you all how many twos are there first. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There are 6 twos. Now let us see how many threes are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There are 6 threes. So we will write down the multiple of 46, uh, sorry, the factors of 46,656. There are Six twos and six threes. That is the factors of 46,656. So it will be 2 into 2 into 2. Again 2 into 2 into 2. Now we will write down 3 into 3 into 3. Multiplied by 3 into 3 into 3. Now we will group the numbers in group of 3 same numbers. Okay. Now group of 3 twos. Again group of 3 twos. Group of three threes, again group of three threes. So, since there, there are group of three numbers and group of three same numbers, the number, given number is a perfect cube. If at least there was not one group also which, which was group of same three numbers. If it was not a group of same three numbers, then that would not have been a perfect cube. But since they are... All these are group of three numbers and all these are group of three same numbers. It is a perfect cube. Okay, we will write down 46,656 is a perfect cube. If we want to find the cube root, what do we do? We will take one number out of this group. Okay, now... We will take one number that is 2. We will take another 2 from this group. We will take one 3 from this group. And one more 3 from this group. We have to take one numbers from each group and multiply them. We will find, we can find out the cube root. 2 2s are 4. 4 3s are 12. 12 3s are 36. 36 is the cube root of 46,656. So, they have not asked us to do this step. That is why I am not doing. I am, I am just showing this for your understanding. But if we do it till here, 46,656 is a perfect cube. That is enough. This is the given question and this is our answer. 46,656 is a perfect cube. This answer is enough for the given question. Hope you all understood the video. Please like and subscribe my channel for more videos. Thank you.